Hello everyone, welcome again. Today I'm going to show how to build an electric fishing kit with simple things which we use at home or which we can get from any local hardware store. You can skip if you don't like the video but just a thought if this will help at least some of you and if you're watching do watch till the end for the assembly guide that I'll keep in the end of this video. And my special thanks to our brother Sako Jamir for helping me in this project without him it was an impossible task for me and till today he has many satisfied customers and he sells this kit without the battery for piece 4000 to 5000 depending on the size of the kit so to start with let me show you the things which we will need for this build and do keep in mind before we start to bind we have to keep some extra wire out at the start and end points of both the 22 and 17mm wires for the various connections which we will need in later part. So here we start with the binding process from 22mm and we should be careful that when binding each wire doesn't go on top of the other and will bind the 22mm for 6 times and the 17mm for 3 times. After we finish each run of binding, we'll wrap it with fiber paper with the desired size and tape it nicely to keep it firm and one advantage of using fiber paper is that it will protect the coil against any water damage. After the 6th time, if we finish binding the 22mm on this side, we'll flip it to the other end and start with 17mm wire which we will bind it for 3 times with the same process. After the binding process is done, this coil is ready and as said earlier, these are the wires which we will need for the various connections. Before we go with the assembly, we will need a box and a holder for the coil and the battery. And this is the box that I made from plywood and it's better to keep it small and light because the complete kit will be little heavy weighing around 3 to 4 kilos which will be a pain for long hour use. We'll fix the coil, the igniter and the point or adjuster all together in this piece of wood before fixing it to the box assembly. We are using here two igniter just in case one breaks down another one will keep up to do the job. The main purpose of giving this nut here is to adjust the flow of current. We can maximize or minimize the flow by tightening or loosening it.
After all the things are attached, let's check it once before the final assembly. After this setup is ready, we'll go with the fishing rod. We are using here a bamboo for the stick because bamboo is more flexible and durable in water. An 8mm iron coil for the rod and some electrical wires for the connections. After the stick is ready, we'll cut the wire according to our desired length in which we feel comfortable and also find the right position for the switch. And for the switch, we are using a small flexible bamboo stick along with wires and two small iron plate as connectors. These are the switch connectors and the connection will come from the purple color plug. So this is the connection for the rope and the net. This is for the switch and the ending wire from 17mm will go to the positive terminal and from the negative terminal it will go to the purple color plug for the switch. So this is the complete setup for the fishing kit and just in case you missed out something I will leave a small diagram which might help you out. Do give a like, subscribe and comment below which will really help me to get going. Thank you all, happy fishing and see you again.